Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a consultant cardiologist in York and today I wanted to do a video on the subject of ectopic beats and one of the common questions I get asked is why does it feel different, you know, why do they feel different? Sometimes I get little flutters, sometimes I get little skips, sometimes I get a really missed beat and then sometimes I get these almighty thuds um, which are really disconcerting. So why? What, what's going on? What, why the difference? What's happening? Um, and the answer is that this can all be due to premature beats. Now, they could be premature atrial beats or premature ventricular beats, but premature beats or PVCs, PACs, ectopic heartbeats can explain all those sensations, all right? Uh, and I'll try and talk you through this. So what happens is <clears throat> your normal heartbeat is like this, all right? Okay, that's your normal heartbeat. Now, the normal traditional ectopic beat, the, the, the one that most people feel is like this. Okay. Now, what's happened there? And basically, what it is is this: your um, in your pacemaker, there is a guy with a drum. All right, he beats the drum. He waits for the echo to die down. He beats the drum again, and that's what's happening here. Okay, as the echo is dying down, the heart is <clears throat> the heart is uh, filling up with blood. The longer it takes for the echo to die down, the longer it takes for the heart to. The, the more the heart fills up with blood. So essentially what, what happens here, let me try and beat this out so that I can make you understand this. So you get the pacemaker guy beats the drum, bang, all right? Now, at this point, the heart has contracted and it is beginning to fill up with blood, okay? After it fills up with blood, the pacemaker guy fires again and then the heart contracts, blood goes out and it starts filling up with blood. And then the pacemaker guy fires, fires again. And this is what's happening. Now, if what happens is the pacemaker guy fires, the heart contracts, all right? And then something else fires before, uh, somewhere, some, an ectopic beat fires, I, a premature beat fires. And by definition, a premature beat is one that comes in before your next beat. Uh, it's a bit difficult to explain, but let me try and explain this again. So the pacemaker fires, okay? the heart contracts and now it's waiting to relax until that echo dies down and the pacemaker fires again and the heart contracts and starts opening again all right now what happens if you pacemaker guy fires this contracts and then before the pacemaker guy can fire again another beat comes in from somewhere else an ectopic beat and fires what happens only very little blood comes out of the heart, all right? So this will feel either like a missed beat or a weaker beat because very less, very much um, less blood has come out of the heart, all right? But now the heart starts filling, it fills, it fills. Now your pacemaker guy is still waiting for this echo to die down because he doesn't know that the echo he's waiting to die down is from another beat's drum, not his own. So the heart fills, 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 fills and then the next beat and then the echo finally dies down and the pacemaker guy beats but now you've pumped up you've got the, the there's a lot more blood in the heart and so therefore a lot more blood is going to go out and that's going to feel like a thud so in essence what you'll get is pacemaker guy so pacemaker guy open pacemaker guy open pacemaker guy open and then another uh, an ectopic beat, so not much of a beat because this is the ectopic beat. And then everyone has to wait a lot longer, fills, 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 fills. And therefore, when the next pacemaker guy, when the pacemaker fires again, a lot more blood comes out. And that's why you feel that big thud. So, <clears throat> however, it really also depends on the prematurity, how soon, how premature the extra beat is. Because the more premature the extra beat is, the longer the subsequent beat has to fill, um, the longer the time is for the heart to fill with the blood for the next beat. So if your premature beat is actually quite 
is is not very premature it's then you won't get such a thud whereas if it is very premature then you'll get a bigger thud so some people say to me well you know sometimes i get a thud sometimes i get a little flutter well the flutters are probably from ectopic beats but they're not very premature the thuds are from the beats that are very premature um, <clears throat> sometimes you get these little skips and sometimes you get these really missed beats and again the skips and the missed beats also relate to the prematurity so the prematurity of the extra beat dictates how you will feel that beat if it's very premature you'll feel a you'll feel a big gap and a big thud you'll feel a big thud if it's um, not very premature then you may just get a little a little uh, just a slightly stronger beat and uh, if it's very, if it's not very, if it's if it's very close to what would have been your normal beat, you may not necessarily feel anything at all. It may just feel like a little bit of a flutter. So that's um, that's a way to explain it. I don't think I've been very clear, uh, but I hope I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So feel free to drop me a line if uh, if you don't understand what I've said. Sorry about this. Anyway, um, here's me. This is me, Sanjay Gupta. This is my website. This is my Facebook page. And this is Jeanette's number. So I hope this helps just to try and understand the different beats. It can all be due to ectopic heartbeats, but the amount of prematurity, how quick you get that extra beat after your normal beat dictates how strong the subsequent beat is. It's just that if, what I'm trying to say is if it comes in very early, so you go, a lot of time for the heart to fill, Bam, you know, whereas that's still an extra beat because the, that beat came in a little bit earlier. So uh, you you wouldn't necessarily notice it other than just a minor, minor, minor hardening of the beat, whereas the big thuds come when the ectopic beats are very premature. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.